Ooh. I'll give it a couple seconds. All right. There we go. Hi, everyone. <laughs> How's it going? How's it flowing? I'm Siris Raquel Rivas Verdejo. Blam, blam, Peter. <laughs> oh, gosh. <sighs> I just love that I'm here with you right now, Imran. And I'm so glad that we get to talk about this topic that I think a lot of people have been asking for and that. Yeah. There's just something about, it's kind of been this hidden topic in a lot of ways. What's your take on this? Like, what does, you're a male being in this world. What does soaring as a male being mean to you? It's, it's something I used to do when I was a kid. And life kind of takes over through parental guidance, guidance at school, relationships, um, the desire to, to be happy, the desire to please. Um, all these things kind of got confused and has suppressed a lot of my capacities. Um, and it's only been recently, I guess in the past 15, 20 years, I've slowly come around to seeing how and what I forgot to do for myself to allow me to, to recapture my imagination and let me be free. You know, yeah. a, a sense of freedom that has no judgment, it has no conditioning, um, and you are whatever you be, and however that shows for you, regardless of other people's uh, points of view or judgments. Yeah. And it's taken a long time, I feel it's been a long time, um, for me to get to that point. Um, I've had some fantastic relationships. I've had some fantastic support recently, um, which has allowed me a greater scope to realize who I am, what I am, what I can do for myself, and how that can benefit a whole heap of other people. Yeah. And I love that you're bringing up as you brought up so many beautiful things and just the energy of this is just, uh, it's just like a warm hug. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, energy like of, hugs. Yeah. right? Hugs are, I can't wait to give good. you a hug in person. You're in Scotland now. I'm in Savannah, Georgia, physically a little bit far away. And yet energetically, I'm totally receiving your hug, my friend. Um, yeah. And you know, I work with kids and, and, as we're talking, you talked about what you knew, what you were choosing, how joyful and happy you were as a child. And I see that in both the, the girls and the boys that I work with. I see it there. And I've also seen it when it starts dialing down, when it starts hiding away, when they start unconsciously like not being themselves and doing the pleasing that you're talking yeah. about and doing the okay, well, this is what mom says I should be as a boy. This is what the yeah. teacher says I should be as a boy. Um, and, you know, all oh, the people in the playgrounds and they just start controlling and monitoring what being a boy, being a male being in this world is supposed to look like. And it gets more and more and more restricted. And I have so many men in my family. Most of my family are men. There's only a few of us women. And I, I found that to be such a gift because my male 
family members are such a source of joy. They are, they're goofballs, they're jokesters, they're storytellers. <laughs> they will bend over backwards to show up and contribute to you and have your back. And yes, there's been a bunch of other things as well with them that they are, you know, continually choosing beyond from having not great relationships and drama with that to addictions in my family to, you know, alcoholism um, and abuse. And, and it's not been that they were always the perpetrators of it. Sometimes it's the women in the family that yeah. have been the abusers. Yeah. I will fully acknowledge that. And it was hard for me as, as a female being to witness that in so many different areas of my life where where sometimes women and female beings were the abuser. Sometimes everyone was being abused. This reality is abusing all of us um, and all these different intersections. And as we were working with energy and bodies and creation, I, I would love to hear more from maybe some of the men that know something different yeah. about this, about soaring, about choosing beyond the abuse and the addiction, like choosing beyond the survival energy, the pleasing everyone else first. And then maybe you, maybe you get a little piece of something. Um, some of the joy, some of the possibility, like I'd love to hear from the men that are choosing that or that would like that more. How about you? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I'm kind of, the, the reverse of that. I was brought up in a woman dominating, women strong, strong women in my family. Um, my grandmother was uh, a matriarch. Um, and I, I can look at things, I have this gift of looking at things objectively so I can see many points of view on the same issue. Um, my sister, I have two younger sisters um, and my mother, obviously. Um, and they have, they have controlled an awful lot and I've allowed that to affect me. So the, the things like, you know, we've brought up guys, I guess, have brought up for the, the, the old adage of, you know, boys don't cry. Of course you cry. You know, I remember when I cry and I remember this is the worst time, I think, in, in my living memory, which is kind of short, um, and I remember when my I, I was divorced, my marriage collapsed, and I kept a stiff upper lip, all right, and I held it together, and um, I went down to see my mother, and I broke down. I sobbed uncontrollably, and I'm not ashamed to say that. You know, that was one of the biggest energetic releases that I, I now know it was an energetic release. Right. I hadn't a clue at the time, mm -hmm. you know, but to come through that um, and be here, be, I was here, I was there for my kids for a while. They've all grown up and gone, so that's cool. Um, still got a wee twinge with that one. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, it's survival. It's, there's many, many stories. And the joy that you can bring to yourself, the, the capacity for soaring um, doesn't have to be a fantastical book that's reams and reams long. It just takes one little spark to kick it off. When I was um, coming up with drug addiction, one of the things that, that, that I had in my head, it was, and it was a memory that I had, I remember one moment in time that gave me the adrenaline boost that I decided I don't need drugs anymore. I don't, I don't require that. I can create that exact same sensation with my body, in my body, naturally. So that's the kind of thing that I would love to hear from guys. There is no shame. There is just a little story. Yeah. I'd love to hear the story, no judgment, because I've been through it, you know, um, and I just want to let guys know that there is no shame, 
Any shame is an external force. Any judgment is external. So look to yourself. What is it that sets your boat afloat? What lights you up? What brings the light into your system? And are you willing to have more of that? Yeah. What I was like, you know, as a as a female being, and I love how how we be and how we create together, Imran, is that like people will see, oh, she's a woman, so immediately she's gonna expect this of me, or this is the only way that we can receive each other and be together and play together. And then they start actually getting to know me as we did when we started yeah. talking to each other, you know, however long ago now, I have no sense of time. And, and you were like, oh, wow, you, she really doesn't judge me. Oh, wow. I really can say anything I want. Oh, I am valued. I am a gift. And I'd like for more male beings to know that I'm not an exception. One, to get to know me and to know through me that there are many more women that are willing to be a space of no judgment with them than they yeah. might realize that you don't have to settle for having females in your lives and women's in your lives that are not including your voice, that are not including what you truly desire. And so that you get to please each other yep. instead of it just being one way. You get yeah. to play together instead of it just being they play their joy they're happy and i just get to watch like i guess with when i'm so fortunate now i have a uh, i'm in a relationship with a woman that has gifted me so much um and supported me no end um in physical attributes and and, and, and sociological things financially um, everything that she's done has always been a supportive mechanism for me. Now, I've not been always gracious of that. I've not been aware of it. Sometimes, because of conditioning or whatever you want to call it, I've been pretty stubborn and not... You stubborn? Telling... What? <laughs> just, a, just a little. That doesn't apply to me at all either. No, <laughs> no, no. And, 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 you know, she'll say not being open to receive yeah. everything that I am aware of in this, in this lifetime of mine it's a two way street there's an exchange of energy exchange of everything exchange of molecules makes electricity which is what the planet runs on yeah so to see that to be aware of that and not have any fear know that you know we're here, we're, we're here as a group, as a crew. There's no judgment. We will encourage you. And if you can't find the words to say, we'll find another modality to allow you to speak, to allow you to express yourself. Well, Regardless also that knowing that we're willing to receive your energy and that not that we're willing to speak the language of energy. And that sometimes um, I think this is the big thing that I realize as a communication specialist and doing relationship coaching is that a lot of female beings demand and prioritize the verbal and aren't willing to acknowledge where the male beings are communicating energetically. Yeah. yeah. And, and that that's super powerful and very valuable. And that if you're willing to receive that, then sometimes the verbal comes out faster, but if you don't even acknowledge the energetics that you're, that are being flowed your way. Yeah. And these beautiful male beings who would love to communicate with you that are communicating with you and expressing themselves, they start shutting down because they're like, you didn't even get this one initial part. So how am I going to express all this other things as I'm still figuring out possibly what I'd like to say? Um, and so facilitating that, that ease of communication is one of the things that I think that we both do really well. We're very much connectors and mediators and helping bridge the gap between different people and different communication styles and experiences. Um, so, you know, given this when, and how we interact and just how much fun it's been for us to create together. And then also it's funny, we've both been 
talking to different people about this topic for a long time and then it seems to have gotten louder recently um i'm i'm i'd love for us to talk and invite people to something in which they get to freely express themselves particularly letting the male beings take center stage a little bit more those that are soaring beyond definition those that are kind of choosing beyond the conditioning the survival that you've mentioned yeah. um do you want to tell people about about our chat that we'd like to have next week yeah absolutely We're, we've got a, a zoom is it, is it like a, my mind has just went blank yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um we've, we've got a uh, a, a f- we're facilitating a meeting where um, it's a group session. Everybody's invited. Everybody. Uh, yeah, women too. Yes. Although they may not have the voice that they would like to have for that moment. I'm going to be quiet a lot more than you're ever see me quiet. <laughs> cool. cool. <laughs> um, you know, and it will be an open group, like I just said, and it will also facilitate. Should anybody wish to take it further in a little bit more privacy, there'll be a cutoff point. And from that point, there'll be a, a closed group. And, you know, place of sanctuary is the word that came into my head, sanctuary security, where guys that may have felt intimidated or, or anxious or nervous can release that. There, there's, there's a absolutely safe and confidential discussion room yeah and if if we can get people to come along and experience how they've come out of the doldrums as it were to to begin to soar then lead by example let's have a few guys that can speak about their experiences and have a if you just want to come in and listen and say, wow, that clicks. Yeah. You know, that's like, oh, why did I forgot that happened? Or, you know, anything that gives them a starting point. And for me, um, I've had to do that a few times, like a reset. Like, what the I hell did is that going? like five times today. <laughs> really? Yeah. Um, and from the technical point of view, I'm looking to get a platform where it can be completely confidential and absolutely secure. So there are things that we're both going to be doing that are going to help facilitate that at every level. Yeah, and we'll bring in- as well is for those that aren't male beings or might not, may, maybe don't know what we mean by soaring and these choosing, come and play, come and just explore and see what it could be like for you. I know there's a lot of people that, both female and male, that and everything else, you know, transgenders are invited, yeah. you know, there's no, we're not talking about binary genders at all here. It's just for ease of discussion, but all, all sexual orientations, all backgrounds, all gender identifications um, are welcome. And what I'd like is also for those that have male beings that they care for, that they're yeah. looking to support them, that they're looking to to have their backs, that they're looking to see how they can be invited to be more of themselves and have more of themselves, be happier, come and listen to those that are coming onto this call that are going to be talking about it and see if that could be relevant to the ones that you care for, those children, those young adults, those full adults that, that are in your lives that you'd like to have more of. <laughs> so, yeah, absolutely. I guess what we're offering is, is a across the board platform for support. Yeah. You know, for everybody, just to get everybody open, discussing, talking. Not there is not a subject that we can't speak about. Mm-hmm. It's only the self and the conditioning of the self that impacts that and doesn't allow the conversation. And an interesting thing that happened, that's been happening to my woman and I, is that we've come to realize that she verbalizes greatly. Men, in my experience, and I'm talking about myself here, tend not to. 
we mull things over in our head and we overthink things and we create our own bloody problems, you yeah. know? So when when we get that we get to a sticky point in our relationship, regardless of what it is, then I can sit down with her and tell her my deepest feelings about whatever subject it is, that changes so much. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And we restart our relationship again. We choose that at that point. So whatever's happened before, it's gone. It's history. It's gone. It's in the past. Oh. Don't look at it. Move forward. Move on. Move on together. Regardless of your gender, regardless of the sex, regardless of the sex of your partner, your chosen one, whatever, there is absolutely no discrimination from my point of view, anyhow. And I guess that goes with us all. All of the crew were pretty well tuned in. And whatever we can do to assist you or even give you a starting point to move on, it's great. That's that's not it. <laughs> I, 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 mm, see, I'm practicing for the call. <laughs> marvelous, marvelous. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this video. Hopefully we'll get to see you on the call. It'll be on the 18th of March at 9 a.m. New York and at 1300 UK, 1400 Rome and Paris. Um, thanks so much. We'll kind of put the details for it below, but if you have any questions about anything that we've mentioned, feel free to reach out to both of us or yep. either of us and, directly. And if Until you know somebody, time. you know, you know somebody else or what would benefit, yes. bring it in. Okay. More people. Yeah. Go ahead and share this video with anyone that you think would benefit from. Okay, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.